Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. 52-year-old David Boyd of Peach Street in Wheelwright surrendered to Kentucky State Police Friday morning. Boyd, who serves as the pastor of the Wheelwright Baptist Church, was indicted earlier this month on a charge of distribution of a matter portraying a sexual performance by a minor. The indictment is in relation to an investigation opened by KSP Detective Jeremy Giles that dates back to August of last year. The investigation was launched after KSP's Electronic Crimes Division in Frankfurt received a tip from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Once we received the tip, a further investigation started, um, conducted search warrants on the residence of, of the suspect, and uh, seized evidence such as electronic devices which were sent off to the electronic crimes branch for forensic analysis. As far as the evidence, the images were found to be child pornography on the uh, computers of the suspect and that's when the case was presented to the Floyd County Grand Jury. Boyd surrendered at his attorney's office in Prestonsburg Friday morning. Giles said Boyd was taken into custody without incident. The suspect was very cooperative. Uh, he arranged to, uh, to meet him at his attorney's office to turn himself in. David Boyd is currently lodged in the Floyd County Detention Center, where he's being held without bond. Boyd has served as the pastor of the Wheelwright Baptist Church since 2012 and in 1998 helped found a youth ministry at the church. Boyd's attorney, Ned Pillersdorf, issued a brief statement following his arrest, saying that Boyd is, quote, presumed innocent. Detective Giles said more charges are likely to be filed against Boyd, who is facing up to five years in prison on the Class D felony charge of distribution of child pornography that he currently faces. Reporting in Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.